Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle seen here leaving a charity event in New York. And tonight there appear to be differing accounts about what happened next. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex admonishing photographers for a relentless pursuit that lasted two hours and resulted in multiple near collisions involving other drivers on the road, pedestrians, and two NYPD officers. Adding, the near catastrophic car chase came at the hands of a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi. The briefing I received, uh, you know, two of our officers could have been injured. I thought that was a bit reckless and irresponsible. Though tonight, at least three law enforcement sources tell NBC News the couple was followed, not chased, and that the incident was a bit chaotic, not near catastrophic. I would find it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase. In a written statement, the NYPD says numerous photographers made the couple's transport challenging, but there were no reported collisions, injuries, or arrests. Harry and Meghan had private security as they left this venue, and two law enforcement sources tell NBC News that they wanted to return to Manhattan's Upper East Side, where they were staying with a friend and did not want the paparazzi to follow. So the law enforcement sources say the couple was driven up and down Manhattan for more than an hour with a police escort. Then the pair was taken to this police precinct where a taxi picked them up. Would you describe it as chaotic? Yeah, chaotic. You could say chaotic. But yeah. With me, I don't know what happened previous in the day, right? right? Mm -hmm. With me, it was chaotic, but not crazy, crazy, right? Do you think the paparazzi went too far? Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. When we were there, they kept their distance when they were following us in my cab. Sonny Singh told us he's the taxi driver who picked up the couple, but he says they drove around for only 10 minutes before the street was blocked by a garbage truck. People just came out of nowhere with cameras and started snapping pictures. Did they seem worried? They seem worried. They seem worried and nervous as well. He then says he dropped them back off at the police precinct, where a different car eventually took them home. All right, Gabe joined us from outside that police precinct. Gabe, was there any video of the pursuit? Well, Lester, a source close to Harry and Megan says that there is a security video that captured the encounter, but it has not yet been publicly released, Lester. All right, Gabe, thanks. Let me turn now to Keir Simmons in London. And Keir, a lot of people immediately thought about Princess Diana when they heard about this. And you know, Lester, inevitably, that is one of the first things that Prince Harry uh, will have thought of uh, when this happened, that terrible night when he lost his mom. Listen, there are uh, parallels. Princess Diana was trying to escape the paparazzi, just like Harry and Meghan this week. Princess Diana had lost her royal protection. Prince Harry no longer has royal protection. But there's also, Lester, important context here, too. Prince Harry is fighting a legal battle with the British press. This isn't just about the past for him. This is about the future. He seems determined to keep fighting, even to change the media. But, Lester, there are those who question whether he can win that fight. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.